So if you asked a dozen people, what is life all about? How many answers do you think you'd get? What if you asked a dozen Christians, what is life all about? Should there be just one answer to that question for Christians? In Philippians chapter 1, verse 21, Paul writes, For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Now, obviously, to be able to say to die is gain, there's an example of that eternal spiritual perspective that we've been talking about. <laughs> the only way dying is gain is if there is an eternity one, and I'm going to spend it with God, too. Well, Paul knows that's true, so to die is gain. But it's also interesting when he says to live is Christ. You know, that struck me as a little strange because I, I guess if I was writing something, I might have said, you know, to live is to live with Christ. Or to live is to live for Christ. You know, to live is to live serving Christ, following Christ, loving Christ, being loved by Christ, any of those things. But it's just so bold, so stark. To live is Christ. There's a, another passage in Colossians uh, chapter 3, verse 4. Paul writes this one as well. And he says, Christ who is our life. It's just a little aside. He writes that, Christ who is our life. And again, I, I read that and I thought, okay, you could easily say Christ who is the source of our life. Definitely true as a Christian. Christ who is the power for our life, the reason for our life. All of those are true, but Paul just writes, Christ who is our life. What's the significance of those two? You know, to live as Christ, Christ who is our life. What's he conveying with just those simple statements like that? Well, I think one that, you know, Christ is all encompassing. And there's not a part, well, this part, you know, this is, you know, the Christ part, and this is the not Christ part. If I'm a Christian, if that is me, a follower, you know, every part of my life, it's about Christ. You know, it's all consuming. I'm focused, everything. It does, I'm eating breakfast, you know, right? I'm trying to eat the best to get ready for a day that's going to be live for Christ, whatever I'm doing. And again, those things come into play. I'm living for Christ and with Christ. But it's just, okay, when you put it all together, it's just Christ. You know, it's all defining. You know, as a, a believer, my life should be such that there is just no way. No way someone could define or describe Steve Vinson and leave Christ out of the picture and have anywhere close to an accurate definition, representation of who I am. To live for me is Christ. Christ is my life. Well, still, this is definitely one of those things you need to ask that follow-up question. Okay, what's it look like? <laughs> what's it look like in this case? To live as Christ. Christ is my life. You know, in uh, family relationships, you know, as I interact as a parent, as a husband or as a wife, as a child, as a sibling, in that, what's it mean for me in that situation? What's it look like to live as Christ? You know, at, at my job, my work, whatever my role is there as an employee, as an employer, relating with customers, uh, how about as a customer going into a place of business? There's a good one. It, to live is Christ. You know, how do we treat those waitresses when the food doesn't come out on time? Yeah. You know, and not just being nice. Don't limit it to that, but it certainly encompasses that. I am a representative of Christ. To live is Christ. And, and then at church. You know, don't think, well, I have to work at it in my family and, you know, on the job, but, you know, I get in church, it's just natural. No. <laughs> What's it look like to live as Christ in my relationship as a part of a, a local church body? Well, ask yourself, I like to think of it this way. What's a situation or an area in my life, a relationship, where I, I do pretty well at, you know, okay, Christ. You know, to live as Christ. And then what's a, a situation, a relationship where I don't do as well? And then what's one tangible thing I can do to live more as Christ in that situation where I struggle some? Think of that, get one specific thing, and, and make a point. Here's when, here's how I'm going to do it.